We started Carbondale in 1973. We did build our own building, but it's very small and it resembled somewhat a modular building. When they opened the first bank in Carbondale, they cut a ribbon of silver dollars and he gave it to the Boy Scouts or somebody. And he said, I thought that'd be a good thing for the bank. And he said, that's what I realized. What we did was a good thing for the community, then ultimately that is what was good for the bank. We just felt like we needed to support our community because if the community was successful, we felt that we would, as a bank, be successful likewise. And uh, that model has worked. There was all this pent up demand and about 86 or 88, things grew crazily. So in every single community, Breckenridge, Steamboat, Vale, Edwards, Eagle, Aspen, we had Alpine banks. And we expanded our locations, you know, three or four a year. And the rest is history. <laughs> I couldn't even begin to say where the next steps came. For the most part, we look for people that have never had a job in banking. We look for people that can learn the Alpine way. He instilled a culture within each of the banks that is a mirror image of what he stands for. And I think that's also characteristic of Alpine Bank in general. So I think you kind of see his vision kind of trickling down throughout the entire organization. I think Bob's values have trickled down through the culture by instilling in everybody that we should be community focused, that we should give back to our communities. Alpine Bank as a company overall is a totally different model than a lot of banks out there. We're employee owned with our ESOP plan. We do offer paid volunteer time. You know, we have Green Team, which is, you know, really seeking out initiatives to make our facilities as green as possible. So we have seven loyalty cards. The idea behind that is every time you use your card, we set money aside for that cause. One thing that makes people happier than any other thing is to give, to give to the community, to the world. We have a lot of people that have been around for a very long time, so we have people that have been there for 20 plus years. It's just a welcoming family. Our turnover rate is extremely low when compared to other financial institutions. And I think that shows a lot for his character to keep people around for that long. And all of his employees regard him so highly. You could see the impact of Alpine Bank all over the place. So it would be really hard not to notice what a caring bank they are. A company's culture is driven from the person at the top. So I think Bob Young's personality and his vision is reflected in everything that Alpine Bank does. That's what distinguishes Alpine Bank from all the other banks in this area. If you look at our organization and the way we conduct ourselves and our culture and how we interact with our communities, that's all Bob's vision and his leadership. So that's his trailblazer. He put banks in locations that I never would have thought we would and they've been quite successful. For him to come to Carbondale, come back to the Valley and start a bank out of it and for it to have grown to where it is today, if that's not a trailblazer, I don't know what is. I cannot think of a nicer, better, um, more complete and honorable person in my life. We've come a long way and we've come that far by being independent, staying independent, and keeping our team together in a way that we all have succeeded. You know, Alpine Bank is now known all over Colorado, so it started a movement with what banking should be.